Hello everyone, I am Imran, and you're watching my YouTube channel Ereki Diner News today. The Right Honorable James Cleverly MP, Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland, hosted Mr. Fuad Hussein, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Iraq, for the uk Iraq Strategic Dialogue in London on July 3-4, 2023. This strategic dialogue builds upon the uk Iraq Strategic Partnership signed in Baghdad in June 2021, which aimed to deepen bilateral cooperation and reaffirm the UK's commitment to Iraq's long-term security, stability, and sovereignty. The dialogue follows the visit of Lord Ahmed, the Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa, to Iraq, including the Kurdistan region, from February 28 to March 2, 2023. During the strategic dialogue, both sides emphasized the strength and breadth of the bilateral relationship between the UK and Iraq. They reasserted their commitment to collaborate on shared regional and global interests. The ministers agreed to enhance cooperation across various sectors, including economic reform. They discussed the importance of fostering a prosperous future for the Iraqi people and the UK's dedication to supporting Iraq through the Iraq Economic Contact Group which aims to implement long-term reforms necessary to stabilize Iraq's economy and society. Both sides welcomed Iraq's ambitious economic reform agenda and recognized the need to expedite non-oil growth, promote private sector job creation, and improve access to finance. They emphasized Iraq's swift completion of its accession to the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development in 2023, as well as close collaboration with the International Monetary Fund for a long-term program to support Iraq. Furthermore, they discussed Iraq's potential membership in international finance institutions such as the European Investment Bank. The UK committed to sharing expertise through government-to-government -government exchanges and providing bilateral support and technical assistance to facilitate economic reform in areas such as building economic capacity, diversifying government revenue sources, and improving access to finance. Additionally, the UK expressed its support for Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization WTO. Furthermore, the Iraqi Minister of Foreign Affairs, Fouad Hussein, held discussions in London with representatives from British Telecom to explore the development of communication networks in Iraq. The meeting involved representatives from the British Department for Business and Trade. Hussein emphasized the importance of communication between ministries and encouraged private companies like British Telecom to contribute effectively to Iraq's support. Both sides expressed their commitment to continuous cooperation focusing on developing innovative solutions and exchanging technical expertise. They also recognized the significance of this partnership in creating a connected digital society and a prosperous economy in Iraq. Representatives of British Telecom expressed gratitude for the opportunity to present proposals enhancing cooperation between the two countries in communications and information technology. The Iraqi Foreign Minister's visit to London was in response to an official invitation from James Cleverly, the British Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs. This development is considered good news for Iraq. Please note that while I have made corrections and improvements, some information might still be subjective or require further clarification. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more latest information about Iraqi Dinar.